Hello, um, thank you for being here and for your time. Um, my name is Pablo Bernabeu and I'm a PhD student uh, in Cognitive Psychology uh, at Lancaster University in the United Kingdom. Um, uh, just to introduce myself a little, I did a bachelor's in English Language and Literature, uh, then became interested in the more cognitive area of it. Did a master's in psycholinguistics, which is about psychology of language, how the brain processes the meaning of words, for, for instance, or sentences. Uh, and then I, uh, I went on to do the PhD I'm doing. I'm now in my second year, and I'm looking at how the brain processes um, the meaning of words based on two systems. Um, one of them is a linguistic system, which works with the co-occurrence of words, and by that means draws inferentially the, the meaning of a word by looking at its company. Another one is more physical experience based, and it adds, uh, it refines the meaning based on our more physical, perceptual, motor and emotional experience. Um, for this purpose I implement methods such as electroencephalography, I collect behavioral responses such as response times, and I do statistics and programming in R. Um, I started programming in R around four years ago. I liked it a lot. And that drew me on to areas such as web applications, also known as data dashboards, shiny apps. Um, and I, I kind of, well, enjoyed there, uh, investigated and built my own apps and then started sharing about it. I wrote some blogs and I shared about it here uh, at my university in my PhD in last year. I gave a little talk and I really enjoyed that and I would like to pursue that by means of this fellowship. I would really enjoy that. I think it would be an amazing opportunity for me at, at every possible level. Um, it would allow me to practice my presentation teaching skills. It would allow me to get to know people within software development, get to know people even as well within my field, but drawing them on to, to R, which is not something that that is happening so easily. It is taking time because some people still um, adhere to the old SPSS paradigms, etc. Uh, I would like to tell them about Open Data and Reproducibility version 2.0, which is beyond raw files shared as supplementals for articles, making those data much more accessible to both fellow researchers and to the public by means of data dashboards, by means of um, sharing the R code online. I'm going. I'm going to show. Uh, a couple of examples in this. This is the first one. This is with a framework known as Binder, a platform known as Binder, which uh, loads um, and, and uploads and, and keeps a virtual image of a software environment. <laughs> Those are the technical words for... Um, it puts up our, an R Studio instance there with your data, keeps it there, meaning that it boosts its reproducibility massively because then people don't need to start getting your files, etc. So that's one part uh, w which I would like to teach about, uh, look at with, with uh, other colleagues. Uh, I've already started to prepare for that and I've sent an application for a workshop proposal or for a workshop uh, as a conference which is the UK Cognitive Linguistics Conference taking place in July 2020. They replied and they said that it looks really good, that they are very willing to take it on. They, they still have to keep the call open but the feedback is very good so that could be part of my experience for this fellowship. That is for Binder. Then if we go on to data dashboards, we have different types of data dashboards built in R. One is the classic shiny uh, dashboard, which is this one, uh, an example. 
where we have links. We have it's a website, but it's also a, an art product, so it's a, a really amazing thing. Then we have the flex dashboard type, uh, which is a slightly more advanced in a way kind of dashboard. Uh, it's based around the art markdown uh, framework and. Um, Sorry for the loading, but uh, yeah, it's it's a slightly more advanced. And these different types are then um, taken to different hosting platforms such as our Pops, Binder, and then we need Shiny apps for the Shiny one. We can also have custom servers. I would like to share all of these. I would like to take some courses also, um, contribute to the Carpentries, to the Turing Way, to an Open Science MOOC on which for which I'm collaborating on GitHub. Thank you very much.